Right now, though, President Trump has taken a personal interest in the growing homeless population in California, mostly using the issue as a way to hammer California's Democratic leaders. But the president has asked for a plan to crack down on homelessness in California, and the White House is reportedly ready to roll out that plan next week. Reverend Andy Bales is the CEO of the Union Rescue Mission on Skid Row. He has been advising the Trump administration on the homelessness issue. Uh, Reverend Bales, do you know what this White House plan that is apparently rolling out next week is going to be? I don't know. I uh, I suspect and and hope and believe and perceive what it might be, but I do not definitely know. It's very unpredictable. Okay, so you've been advising, though. What have you told them that your hopes are? Well, as many know, I've been crying out for a FEMA-like, Red Cross-like response to the disaster of leaving 44,000 people on the streets to be devastated by prolonged homelessness. And my hope is that they're going to come and they're going to provide some land to some faith-based groups uh, who will work at not only immediately sheltering people and perhaps sprung structures, microfiber uh, uh, structures that can be quickly put up. They're waterproof, they're heat, heated and air-conditioned and, and uh, safe and 24-7, uh, 365 shelter, and uh, that we're, we're going to move toward uh, both sheltering and, and recovery and away from uh, permanent supportive housing that costs 600000 per unit per person and takes too long to build right have you and have you had uh, have you had direct meetings with the president no i have not had any direct meetings with the president i met with four uh gentlemen from hud and then i met with 15 officials from every department of the white house and gave them a tour of skid row and uh I've I've since had some follow up. Uh, okay, so do you get do you get the sense that they are empathetic to the problem? What kind of feedback have you been getting? Uh, they have been empathetic from the beginning. They've been focused on uh, relieving people who are devastated from homelessness, providing shelter to people who've been left out on the streets and suffering. And they they're interested in doing good. They've made it very clear. The folks I've dealt with, including Ben Carson, have made it very clear they're not into the political aspect of this. They're into bringing relief to the people who are suffering on the streets. And I would say also to the housed people who who are facing uh, the, the growing uh, difficulty when, when so many Angelinos are left on the streets. The, the Angelinos left on the streets are suffering the most, but also all Angelinos are facing the consequences of what what happens to a city when you leave people on the streets to be devastated physically and mentally by homelessness. So I, I'm hopeful. Maybe maybe I'm too optimistic, but I'm hopeful. that I don't get any indication that there's going to be any kind of sweep. And I've had... Well, well on, on that note, because I just want to pick up yeah. what, what you said a second ago, you know, yeah. there are the criticisms out there, A, that the White House is trying to score some political points here, and B, that the police could be used, that there would be like a roundup. What, what do you say when, when you hear people say those things? Well, if it's if it's political reasoning to come and rescue forty four thousand people from living on the streets, then then good riddance, right? Because uh, because whatever the reasons, whatever the whatever the motivation, if we actually do help the people on the streets, um, that would be a good thing. And I, where would we take anybody if if there's a sweep? Where in the world would anybody be taken? I, I don't. We have to create places to take people, and that's the problem right now in Los Angeles. We do not have anyone anywhere to take people who want to seek shelter. You have to create the shelter first, and then you'll have a place to take people. But that's that's what I'm hoping, is that we create the places to go, and we do it in a big way, not, not in a pilot program. And, and I've... I've pushed back. I, we don't need any more pilot programs. We need to treat this like the FEMA, like Red Cross, like National Guard, like disaster that it is and get people off the streets. And, and the reason I'm glad about the shift, and you know there's a man who was reported this man was pushed out of office. Well, what I understand is he's a staunch supporter of the permanent housing harm reduction model, which means very expensive uh, take too long to build housing as the solution for homelessness. And 
when when you leave so many people on the streets and you focus all the resources on a few while you leave the many on the streets, those many left on the streets become tomorrow's chronic homeless people. So so we've actually multiplied street homelessness exponentially by focusing on a few and leaving the many on the streets. So all right, Re- Reverend Andy Bales, uh, running out of time here, but CEO of the Union Rescue Mission there on Skid Row. Reverend, thanks for your thoughts. Thanks for your time. Okay.